this. This will be the thing. This is your A. Right? Form is temporary. Class is permanent. So this is class. So no matter what your form is, it can't go below. Form is temporary. It can either increase or decrease. Success is equal to talent plus luck. Luck can increase, decrease. Talent is. Yeah. So don't look at statistics as in silos. Right? Statistics is our everyday life. Okay? Statistics, first of all, it cuts across all disciplines and it also is part of our life. We unknowingly use statistics in all of our life. Right? So, Okay. So this is the line. So A is the intercept of this line. Yeah, B is for the slope of the line. And this is the equation of Again. So now you have all observations like this. have a number of observations. For if this is y on x, it should be here. Y will be here. Yeah. If you remember, first class, independent is taken on the x-axis, dependent is taken on the y-axis. Right? So, I will first take a scatter plot of the data that I have. I will get this scatter plot. By using this equation, I will try to find the line of best fit. Okay, which is this regression, which means this line is the least amount of difference between each of the dots. Okay, that is the line of best fit. And I said the regression line, we plot the regression line based on least square method. You see in the first slide, I said just keep that in mind. Least square method. Does anybody know what is that least square? Only I have heard it, but I don't know it on the <laughs> What is least square method? It means the distance between this. The distance between this is the least, which is calculated. R is nothing but correlation. Right? This value is the least with this line for each of these plots. That is the line of best fit based on least squared width. That's what it means. Okay? Slope of the line is another term. The third part. The third point in the, in the first slide is fitting a model, right? Fitting a model means finding out values of A and B. Romancing the unknown. That's what it means. A and B are the unknowns. That's what we are trying to find. Okay? A intercept, B slope. If we know both of this, we can predict one based on the other. Yeah? Obtaining a line of best fit is regression. These are the formulas. Okay? Just have a look at them, you don't have to uh, mug up these formulas, we anyway use them in, in solving using Excel. Okay? And one thing to remember, statistics is not about remembering formulas. I think this is what is taught to most of us, including myself, that statistics is about formulae. It is not about formula, like I told you in the first class, it's about logic. It's not about formula. Right? So far, any, any doubt so far? We have gone through most of the uh, most of the theoretical foundations of regression till here. Right? We talked about what regression actually means, where can you use regression, what regression can do. Yeah. We have also talked about how to plot the regression line and what are the parameters within that. This is what we've talked so far. Clear? Yeah. This is something that I just now drew, right there. These are my plots. This is 
is my A intercept. This is my line of best fit. This is the distance between each of the plot and the regression line, which is called residue, not E. Residue. E is the error for the total equation, not for individual observations. E will come here. For simplicity, I have taken it out. Okay? So, this distance is called residual. Residual is actual value minus calculated value. This is the actual value, this is the calculated value. Right? Is the concept of regression clear? What are we trying to do here? Is it clear? What is there anybody? They are like, okay, fine, I have understood what you said, but I don't know what impression is. No, it can be the case. Is there anybody who is ambiguous about what actually regression can do? What actually, why are we using regression? Okay. Basically, in correlation, we try to find out relationship between two variables. Right? But now by knowing both of them are related, what should I do? I need to find out, I need to be able to calculate one based on the other. Right? And that's why I am doing regression. For only predictive value, I am doing regression. To just find out a relationship between both the variables, I am doing correlation. Yeah? It's another thing that you can only find out one or on the other only if their correlation exists. 